Welcome to the video tutorial for PayPlans. PayPlans is a membership system for Joomla and today I would like to create few plans necessary for subscription site and then attach those plans with a payment gateway. So let's start. Over here you can see the setup checklist after a fresh installation of PayPlans. But if you notice there are also two red flags. The first denotes the requirement of a payment gateway and the second the requirement of a subscription plan. And to use pay plans effectively, you should create plans to which users will subscribe. So let's move into the plan creation page. And this is the plan page. Currently, no plan exists. So we will be creating a new one. In pay plans, we offer five different types of plan. The first one is forever. It means that once this plan is subscribed, it will never expire. The second one fixed, meaning this plan will expire in a fixed time once a user has subscribed. Then moving to the third plan that is recurring. It means that this plan will automatically renew itself once it has been subscribed by a user. Meaning, explaining in simpler terms that once a user has subscribed to this recurring plan, this plan will automatically renew and the user will not have to go for subscription again and again. Then the fourth plan is recurring plus one trial. This is similar as the other one. The only added difference is that in this recurring plan, the user will have an added advantage of one trial. Means before opting for this recurring plan, the user can go for a trial period, maybe for months or few days. So the user can try out the subscription for few days at lower price and if he is satisfied then he can move to the recurring plan. Then the fifth is recurring and two trial. It is completely similar to the other one. Only added difference is that it has got two trial periods. You can set the different amount and different time periods for two trial periods. So we will be creating two plans and associating them with a payment gateway so that we can just have a look how the pay plans work. So let me create a recurring plan. I would place the pricing to $20. Expiration time to one month and number of returns to two. So, what is it meaning? It means that once the user has subscribed to this plan by paying $20, this plan would be active for only one month and after one month. He, he, his invoice, his plan rather than his subscription will be renewed and number of returns states that his subscription would be renewed two times consecutively. After that, he says his subscription would expire. So completing the remaining details, setting the plan title, it should be a very catchy one so that the users get attracted to this plan. So, placing the status something like easy to use. Next check publish. This plan is published and visible to the users. It is set yes. <laughs> then the teaser text. Teaser text something like recurring. 
this will denote what this plan is. Then let me skip this two step CSS and redirect URL. I will explain them. Let me place the description. This is a description in which the plan page, the user will totally able to see what all this plan is about. This plan is easy to use, responsive in UI, simple and clean and easy to customize. So let's save this plan. The plan is saved. So let's have the look at the front end. This is the front end of a site that I have just created locally. And currently no plan is visible, but just let me refresh it here. As you can see, the plan that we created is visible over here. Easy to title, easy to use, description, recurring plan, and for $20 for one month, and all the description. The user can just easily subscribe by clicking the button below. The subscribe now button. Now coming back to the backend. Let me explain you the CSS class. Many times it happens that at your site you have variety of plans. All the plans are different, but you want a specific plan to be highlighted. So by this CSS class, you can highlight a specific plans. You can apply corner badges. Only thing you have to do is apply the classes that we have pre-built earlier. Some like hot, free, new, popular, featured, and top. So let me place one for you. Hot. Then comes the redirect URL. It means you can set the URL where you want to redirect the users after the subscription is complete. So currently I am keeping this URL blank. It is totally up to you. What do you want to set? So I will be saving and closing the plan. And to see the effects, just let me move to the front end of the site and refresh it once time. And here you can see the CSS class has been applied. This is the hottest plan that we want the users to be used. Again, moving to the back end, I will be creating one another plan. Let us create a fixed plan. So I will be placing the regular price to around $80 and setting the expiration time to a year that after, which means after paying $80 for subscription, the user will be able to use this fixed plan for a year. Placing a catchy title, text plan. The plan is obviously visible. It has been set to yes. You can set it no, but I would prefer it yes. Or otherwise, should we create the plan? So checking the visibility, it said yes. Okay. Now placing the teaser text, limited time plan. We don't need CSS classes in all the plans. Place the description, the pre written HTML that I will be pasting over here. Like so, saving and closing it. Now, moving to the front end of the site, refreshing it. Voila, you can just see the second plan has arrived with all the details that you place and a beautiful subscription button at the end. So these are the two plans that is visible in the backend. As you can see, the plans are visible to the users and published. You can also set it as unpublished by just a click. The red button marks that this plan has been unpublished. You can again publish it by just a single click. It's published. So the plans are created, but now you need an payment gateway that needs to be integrated with it. 
So for creating a payment gateway, we will move to the app manager of our pay plans. This is the app manager where all the available apps and integrations are available for downloads. All you need to do is place your credentials and place the data. I have placed my credentials beforehand and verified and saved it. You will also need to do the same. You will need to place the credentials that you used while purchasing the pay plans. So this is the one. Selecting the category to payment gateways. I will be using the Stripe gateway and just clicking on the install button. It's installing. It has been successfully installed and you can uninstall it if ever you wish. It's installed. Now, once the Stripe payment gateway has been created, you will now have to create an app instance for the sake. So, you will just need to create a new and Stripe is visible. Selecting it. The title has been placed, it has been published and it will, the next option is asking apply on all plans. It means that you want to apply this payment gateway to the invoices sent for all the plans or not. So I would just set it as yes. So any invoice that I send for any plan will be having an option for this type payment gateway. So users will be able to easily pay. And I would set the mode as test, not on live account, because I don't have one. Setting the public API key that you will also be needing to do. This is just a dummy one that I have picked from their site. A secret key that you will get once you register at their site. Done. Now saving and closing. The stripe is created as you can see. All you need to do that the user will have to come at your site's front end and subscribe to a plan. And he will be redirect, redirected to the stripe payment gateway and then he can pay any sum of amount. So let's move into the front end. And uh, since this type has been assigned to all the plans, so I can subscribe to anyone. Let's see the hot one. It will just be asking my username. So I would be placing my name. And logging it. This is the confirm invoice page, the invoice page that the users will see. It shows that the plan for $20 is there and the user is ready to pay. The payment gateway is tried. If you attach any more payment gateways like PayPal or any other, all those would be visible over here. So currently I just created a Stripe gateway, so Stripe is visible. I will be pressing the checkout. The Stripe will ask me my credentials. So I also have created some dummy that I would be placing my dummy uh, card number and CCV code, dummy expiration date, and just click on buy. It's taking to the process. And as you can see, the invoice is paid. It has been marked as paid. So the user is now subscribed to that plan. 
all you need, need to do is just go at your site and download the subscription details that you need to do. Now, one thing more I would like to add, like in the plan section, let me open a single plan. There was one option like redirect URL. If I would have set the redirect URL at this place, then after the user would have paid the invoice, he would have automatically been redirected to any place that he want. Some suppose like the documentation of the plan or video or any tutorials. So this was all about the usage of creating plans and assigning a payment gateway to them. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.